always fun when you can brag on your friends and a service that you use that you adore. <laughs> And that's what I'm doing today. I'm being very selfish and I'm bragging on a service that I'm an actual customer on, uh, customer of. And I reached out to its founder and CEO, Jun Stilkop, and asked her, would you be willing to talk to me even for 10, 15, 20 minutes? We did talk for about 20 minutes. And I said, I need more people to understand what I'm experiencing with Wise Wizards. So if you've never heard about Wise Wizards, I hope this is a good introduction for you. If you are a small business and you've heard of Wise Wizards, I want you to ask yourself one simple question. Why am I not using them? Not why should I use them? I want to know why you're not using them because it's almost too easy. It's almost too cost effective. And quite frankly, if you don't have a passion and skill set for doing your own bookkeeping, you need to outsource that. And right now, I haven't found anything that even comes close to comparing to the level of service and how happy I am with what Wise Wizards does for me. Sounds like a commercial. I don't care. <laughs> I'm excited about working with them, and that's why I'm doing this. Now, the other thing is I want to let you know what you're going to get in this video. We're going to, uh, obviously, you've got this introduction. I had a couple of her customers that were like, yeah, I would love to do a testimonial. And so we've got a couple testimonials that we're going to splice in here. There's two of them. They're both at about 45 seconds long, and I love what each one of them has to share. And then we've got about a 20 minute conversation with Jen and we hit more topics than either one of us thought that we would hit in this uh, interview. I'm so excited to be able to share this because there's some real, real gems in here. Just forget about even Wise Wizards, just from a small business perspective, this is an amazing conversation. The last thing I wanna say here, and I, there's no way you're getting me through this uh, video without saying this, is I'm a corporate sponsor of a farm sanctuary out in New Richmond, Wisconsin called Soul Space. Jen and her team had reached out to me maybe about a year, year and a half ago, and they said, we love all the videos we see and all the pictures we see of what you're doing with this farm sanctuary and how it serves the community, how it serves the animals, of course, but also how it serves the people that we bring into the sanctuary. And I, I say constantly is that farm sanctuaries save lives, and I'm not just talking about the animals. And they said, how can we support you in that? And Wise Wizards has been a corporate sponsor for Soul Space the last year, year and a half. And I can't even tell you how grateful I am about that. There's no way we're getting through this video without me mentioning that as well. So we're going to go into the first testimonial here. It'll be very short. Jen and I are going to uh, really have a lot of fun in the next 20 minutes. And then we're going to finish with another testimonial. Anyways, take it away with the testimonials. You're going to love this video. Well, welcome to Soul Space. Uh, I'm Kara. I'm Janelle. Mm -hmm. I'm Stephanie. And we just wanted to do a quick video to thank you, um, everyone at the at Wise Wizards, so much for your generous donations to help us go, um, to help us run. And we have just gotten through our sixth winter here at Soul Space, um, and are so excited to get back into the swing of things and. Um, we just really wanted to tell you how grateful we are for your monthly donation and it means so much to us. So thank you, thank you from Oliver, from Brock, Louie, Amos, George, and all the, all the rest of them. Hi, Kim Smith here, owner and the transaction expert or one of them of your trusted TC. Uh, we service the Northern Virginia, DC, Maryland metro area. And I'm sitting here in my backyard on a Friday, enjoying a little bit of sunshine for a few minutes, getting some energy because I had that time to do it. Because a few months ago, I decided to uh, start using Wise Wizards to do my bookkeeping. And I just had that off of my plate and I can focus on other things and a little bit more time on me. So I hope you think about it. Think about delegating and uh, getting some joy for yourself, even if it's for a minute or two, a little bit helps and uh, enjoy your weekends as well. Okay. <laughs> all right, so Jen, we're just gonna get started here and I wanna Perfect. thank you for joining us because all I wanna do is talk about Wise Wizards and I want more people to know about it. So- I appreciate if, it. Absolutely, if you wouldn't, and you know I'm a customer and you mm -hmm. know that we've got a couple testimonies that we're gonna show on here. Yes, sir. Generally speaking, I would say the two testimonials that we have, plus myself, we pretty much are all in agreement on two things. Number one, we hate bookkeeping and accounting. Okay. 
we hate it. And number two, we've all agreed to hire Wise Wizard to solve all of our problems. So at least for leverage. So could you help us at least tell why did Wise Wizards even get started? Because you really had a beautiful business background, but it wasn't necessarily Wise Wizards. How did Wise Wizards come about? Yeah, why did I start a business in the middle of a pandemic? Is that, yeah. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, we, yes, we've had a lot of success with our other company, Rebox, yes. and that's been very fulfilling. We've really enjoyed it. What a lot of people don't understand is we've done bookkeeping in Rebox since the beginning. Yeah. I have a very strong bookkeeping background. I've been doing it for about 25 years. I feel old. Um, in some capacity, it always seems to sneak into my life because I love numbers. I love financials. I love business. So for me, it's uh, finances are a way that your business communicates with you. And uh, we hear this all the time that people say, I hate bookkeeping. To me, when I hear that, I'm saying, great, you're, you're basically saying, I don't want to listen to my business. Yeah. I, I don't want to understand the language of business because the language of business is financials. Yeah. And so we, we've been doing it along and I played around with the idea of opening a bookkeeping company, but obviously with Rebox, <laughs> small little company, I had my hands full and, and then the pandemic hit. And you know some of my story, we got hit pretty hard. And as a small business, we really understood it at a very personal level, um, not only personal, but business. Yep. And then all of a sudden these grants started coming up, grants and loans and everything. And what do all of them want? Profit and loss statement, mm -hmm. balance sheet, yep. you know? And we're not even talking about the decisions that you need to make as a small business owner. And, and most small business owners, and let's just be real, do not even know what reconciliation affiliation is. And if they do, they haven't done it in a hot second because they're busy running their business. Yep. And so now you have these small business owners that are being crunched in a huge way yeah. due to the pandemic. And, and yet they're making these decisions on a daily or weekly or monthly basis that are truly impacting their entire world, their team's world. They don't have updated financials. They don't have their business telling them what it needs. So that's essentially like making decisions with both hands tied behind your back and then blindfold on as a business owner. And so we started having people reaching out saying, hey, I've got to apply for this or that, can you help me? And that was it. Like for us, I was like, okay, here's a need. And it was exactly like when we created Rebox or when we created the TC Comp program, it wasn't in an effort to build this huge empire. It was a need that we felt we could help with. And, and that's really what my whole team is about, is giving back and making an impact on this world. So we saw this need and we were like, we need to go ahead and launch this. Okay, so I wanna bring up a couple things. Number one, you've used the word need a number of times and here's what I yes. need, okay? Is what I absolutely needed is I wasn't gonna bring, number one, I'm not doing the bookkeeping. I've got too right. many hats I'm wearing and everything else. Yep. Like, I'm not giving the, the, the attention that it both needs and deserves. Yes. So with that, I'm also a small business and I'm not going to bring on a whole nother employee just to manage Absolutely. that part. So here's the situation. What I needed is I needed someone who could help own that, could help in a consistent and predictable manner, make sure that they're looking at it on a regular basis. So when I had hired Wise Wizards, I needed multiple things. I needed someone that I can count on week to week to kind of maintain this mm -hmm. ongoing. But I also needed exactly what you just mentioned, being full disclosure, I needed someone to go back months, six yes. to 12 months and reconcile yes. back from there. Because yeah. I'm honest with myself that there's a lot of things I'm passionate about. That wasn't one of my passions. It's also not my skill set, but I also know as a business owner, that's not an excuse for it not to get taken care of. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's the thing is, is for some reason with financials and bookkeeping, we, we know when our email templates need to get updated. We know when our action plans need to get updated. We know when we need to work on our accounts receivable or accounts payable. But for some reason, when we start thinking about the actual guts, the actual financials, yep. we don't think about it until tax season. And that was something that was really important to me too, is I didn't want to create a traditional bookkeeping company. In my experience, and, and there are lots of companies out there, so, <laughs> you know, um, but in the companies I worked with, in the CPA offices that I've worked in or worked with, the, the traditional way of bookkeeping is usually one of two things. One is, here's my box of receipts at the end of the year, 
And then you pay about a hundred to two hundred dollars an hour for somebody to data enter all of that into their system, which is usually a desktop version of QuickBooks. Mm -hmm. And they enter all of that to create a profit and loss and a financial statement. It works amazing for your taxes. You know exactly what's happened for the year. But if you're in June and this isn't going to happen till December, you don't know what's going on. Yeah. The other side of it is you pay someone again, traditionally somewhere between 75 to $200 an hour, because now you're not in tax season. Mm -hmm. You give them your statements at the end of the month and they go in and again, they enter everything and they give you a report. But again, that's once a month, once a month, you know what your business needs. Yep. So the idea behind wise wizards is how can we make this efficient? How can we make this something that on a weekly basis, things are getting updated Thank and how can we make it affordable for the small business? And I'm not talking about the SBA's definition of a small business up to 500 employees. I'm talking about our businesses, yep. those people that have themselves and maybe up to 10 employees or even a little bit larger, like something like a Rebox, right? And so what do those people need? They, they really, you can go to Gusto, you can go to ADP, you can go to all places for payroll. You can go to your accountants for the end of year stuff. But for that person who like you, I want to know what my business is doing on a weekly basis. I want it to be consistent. I want it to be done. And I don't want to think about it. So that way, when I go to my accountant, I have a complete set of financials. If I want to apply for a loan, I have a complete set of financials. There's no stress. There's no anxiety. And in the moment, you're seeing things like fraud. You're seeing things like, why did that rate go up? You're being asked questions about transactions that aren't traditional to your business. So it's just that second set of eyes there to help you. Basically, we're translating your business for you. So, and you're doing it a couple things that are also of service to me is mm -hmm. the fact is, is not only are you taking care of things that I should be taking care of, or yep. I should be outsourcing or whatever it is, but I also have a small team and it's like, mm -hmm. okay, we all wear multiple hats. Who could wear the accounting hat? Okay. Yes. Now there are people on my team that could do that. Hey, can you check the books every week? Make sure that we're reconciled yep. to everything else. But even if I had someone that would take all the pride in the world to own all of that and God bless their souls for being willing to and raising their head and go, <laughs> I can own that. Okay. Yeah. I'll be honest. There's a trust level there. I wanted someone that this is what they do. Not someone yeah. that has the bandwidth to take that hat on in my business. Right. I wanted someone that this is their specialty and this is what they right. do. So you have not only taken something, a hat off of my plate, you've also given me reports. You've also gone back months, almost a year, mm -hmm. my business and reconciled everything. But it's been done with a group of people that I know that this is what they do rather than mm -hmm. one of us that just, don't worry, I'll figure it out. Yes. I'm financials, I'm not looking for someone to figure it out. Well, so, and, and thank you for bringing that up. Yeah. yeah, because one thing that business owners, I, I, I don't know what this is about small business owners and, and I suffer from this, I'm working on it. I'm a recovering control freak. Um, we think that I'm we're supposed to be good at everything, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. A, we think that we're supposed to be great at everything. And yeah. because we have the capacity to learn quickly, yeah. we think that that's what we should do, yeah. right? Yeah. That we should constantly be learning something new. And something that my life has taught me is that there are certain things that I love and I'm passionate about, and that's where I want to put my energy. It's not that I can't go mow my lawn. I don't want to. Now my husband gets pleasure out of that. So rock on, he can go do that, but that's not something that I enjoy. So if he wasn't around or he decided he didn't want to mow the lawn, that's something I'm going to leverage. And the other piece of that is, is when you think about it with your business, when you have an employee who, what is their primary focus, right? Because their primary focus is always going to pull them. Yep. So if their primary focus is TC or marketing or social media or anything else that you have them doing, and then the bookkeeping is an afterthought, mm -hmm. that's exactly how it's going to be treated. So that means that's they're not going to be watching the videos. That is unacceptable to me that my financial health is someone's backseat option. I, that's go. not gonna be acceptable in my business as a small business owner. And if it is for anybody else, that's why I wanted to do something like this. And I want yes. people, people to know about Wise Wizards. Now, yes. I do wanna bring up two more things. And one of them, sure. I may have started um, maybe maybe a, a, a small in a group. 
<laughs> I may have been on a webinar that I said <laughs> something inaccurate about Wise Wizards, and I know that you guys got a number of calls on it. And that is, is I was tired. I was on the thing, and I said, you know, they've really helped me with my, with my business books and everything, and my personal. And what I was trying to say is because you guys have helped me refocus what I'm doing yes. at my financials. I wasn't saying you guys were handling my personal books. So people are like, oh, they do personal stuff too? Okay, great. I'll call them. So all of a sudden, now you guys are doing personal stuff too. And people are like, David, I love that you brought that up because now they're hit. So now you're doing both business yes. and personal, aren't you? Yes, we are. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's, that's uh, those, those folks that know me understand that I, I, I'm a little bit of an opportunity junkie. Yeah. Um, and, and if we can do it, we'd love to help because again, my passion is business. My passion is small business owners. Yep. And so, and I am a small business owner. Like I get it. You know, I mean, I, I have had some of the best months in Rebox and forgot to pay my mortgage. Um, so it's, it's, I understand the struggle. So if we can do it in a way that fits in our systems and in yeah. your budget, we're happy to do so. We also help with accounts payable, accounts receivable. Like you said, clean up, clean up is probably our biggest request. Yeah. We've had folks that we've gone back three years and four years to clean things up. So we're happy to do that. And we also have solutions for folks that are like, listen, this was just a mess. How can I kind of do a restart, but not lose that? We know how to do that too. Like I said, we work with CPAs. We yeah. have a ton of experience. So there's very, honestly, since Wise Wizards had started, we haven't had an issue we can't address. Yeah. So now we have some issues that don't we don't cover, meaning we are definitely not CPAs. Yeah. So if it's, if it's a, how should I file? We're going to tell you to talk to your CPA. If it's, you know, a, how should I structure this in my finances? That's going to be a CPA. But if it's a, Hey, you know, I haven't reconciled for this many years or I can't find this. We're, we're going to dig into that. Yeah. And I feel much more confident <laughs> and less embarrassed, quite frankly, uh, talking yes. to my accountant, knowing that you guys actually <sighs> Back See, you keep telling me to be, you keep telling me to keep it short. <laughs> shame. Oh my goodness. Could we have a Brene Brown moment, please? Yeah. So shame. How much shame do yeah. we as small business owners carry? Yeah. Oh it's my goodness. High, it's a high level. It's such a high level. And yeah. why should we? We are killing ourselves on a daily basis to make these businesses work, to provide for our employees, to provide for our customers. We should not feel shame walking into a CPA office. You can solve that for 50 bucks a month. It just should not be something that we have to put ourselves through. You should be confident in the financials. You should be able to walk in there. That doesn't mean that things aren't gonna change. That doesn't mean that your accountant isn't gonna say, hey, I'd rather have this here instead of here, but at least you're gonna be prepared. Mm -hmm. You're gonna understand your financials. Even if you're not reviewing the balance sheet and profit and loss we send you on a monthly basis, at least you have it. So it's, it's just, yeah, this is, in my mind, this is something that should be available to every small business owner, like now. Yeah. And, and that's really our goal. You, you know you and I could go for an hour on this. I'm going to ask <laughs> one last thing. I'm going to ask okay. one last thing. And then let's wrap this up so that it's, it's, it's short and concise for people and, yeah. and it's digestible. But yeah. I want to say something that I couldn't have been happier with, more pleased with, is going into something new like this, there's a little bit of stress. What's this going to involve? What questions yeah. are they going to ask me? How long is this going to take me? Everything else like that. Now, again, there's a little bit of shame going into this. What are they going to look at? What are they going to see? Yeah. Then there's also the fear of, you know, I'm not doing this. I'm having someone else do this. Now they're going to ask me questions yeah. about something I don't even feel I'm qualified to probably even answer. It was all very stressful, the thought of starting this. Yes. Yes. And quite frankly, I'm busy. So just to take the, mm -hmm. how much time is this going to take me? This was the most ridiculously easy onboarding of any service I've had. Can you talk to me about that? Or, or is that all that needs to be saved? Because I will just tell you right now, when they told me what they needed from me and how quickly and easy this process was, I felt like, okay, so what is missing here? When do we actually start to get to the hard stuff? I mean, it was just, it was ridiculous. The onboarding was absolutely it almost felt like it didn't happen i know that sounds weird oh, i love that i that love that how it felt for me well and and one thing i should say right up front is that i have no active i i am truly the mentor in this business i am behind the scenes the folks that are doing it do an incredible job our team yeah. over in wise wizards our wizards um <laughs> do an incredible job and luckily they have the gift of being with me for quite a few years 
And so they are very used to working with a very busy, demanding um, individual who uh, thinks she has control over everything and is yeah. often dropping quite a few balls. So, so they understand the struggle. And a lot of times it's, it's not a, it's not a, I can't do it. It's, I can't do it now. And we get that. So we're going to onboard, we're going to handle as much as we possibly can. We're going to have a console up front so we can go through, kind of see where you're at. Yep. Right. Because a lot of people, there is a lot of shame. So if we say, have you reconciled your books? If you don't know what reconciliation is, that's going to be a really scary question. So yep. if we have you on Zoom, we can just take a look and ask. And then that way it doesn't need to be embarrassment. And then we can also ask, do you want us to clean this up? Because not everybody wants to pay for somebody to clean up a previous year. That's okay. We have solutions around that. We can do a fresh start. We can do some adjustments. We can make it easy for you. Same with accounts payable and accounts receivable. If you're doing something that is causing an issue in your financials, you don't necessarily want to pay us to do it. We're going to hop on a Zoom and show you how we would do it so that you could potentially change your systems. And I'll give my personal testimony because not everybody's going to make this decision. I had yeah. made the decision, let's go through the initial setup and everything else like that. I would see how everything was categorized and everything. Then yep. I would take the time and go back and handle my previous months. Yeah. As easy as you guys made the onboarding <laughs> process, it seemed like I was being a little ridiculous. So <laughs> what I, that's just my personal opinion and my direction towards myself. I'm like, why would I do that? I don't yeah. even understand why I would do that. And I said, yeah. I'll just tell you right now, simply just tell me what the cost is. They told me what the cost is. And I said, this is a no brainer. Why don't you go back? Yeah. And they cleaned up the rest of my systems. And yeah. it was amazing to me. So what your plan is looking at Wise Wizard could mm -hmm. literally change during the onboarding process. Oh, absolutely. And after, and after. The onboarding process, just get started. Yes. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you right now, my thought process changed after I got started. And I'm just like, you know what? I appreciate the help that I'm getting so much and it's done so well and so painlessly without my involvement per, per se, to be honest yeah. with you, they're not afraid to ask me things, but really what they're doing is all of a sudden I forget they're even working on it. And then they just send me a, a statement and go, oh, by the way, here's all your profit and loss and here's what's going on. And I'm like, that's the goal. I expected to see that like in a month. Nope. It was amazing. So I just wanted to give that little personal testimony. I know we got a couple testimonials on here. Yeah. Mine was, is I was excited to do this, but I was excited to get it started so that we'd have it for, I, it would be right for me moving forward. Yes. As soon as I yeah. figured out how wonderful this was, I'm like, why am I just moving forward? Why don't I just have them go all the way back? Well, and David, I'm so glad you brought that up because it, it, you can be with us six months, a year, whatever, and say, you know, I was going to fix 2018. It's now been six months. I, I'm not going to get to it. Yeah. And, and we can also have the discussion of how important is that to you, right? Because I think this is the big thing too, is everybody thinks just because you hire a bookkeeper, we're now going to go back through your entire account and we're going to make it perfect. Again, we can do journal entries. We can do different things to say, hey, we don't need this information because honestly, if you haven't done it for three years, you're not using it anyway. Yeah. So if you're one of those folks that's like, I don't want to deal with that. I just really want to start here. We can do that. If you're like, I'm, I really care about 2019 and 2020. I don't about the others. We can do that. So just having that line of communication. And again, that's our goal. We don't want shame. We want you to ask us, yep. you know, if, if we can't do it, we'll tell you, we'll give you options, but there shouldn't be any shame. This is just another part of your business. Yeah. And I just, I just want to say both you and wise wizards have been just an incredible blessing, not just to my business, but to my personal life. Cause you're reducing wow. stress. And, and I know it sounds weird. And you said, David, I can't believe you said, let's keep this short. And then you brought up another topic of shame. Yeah. So you're helping me in those areas. Cause I do want to talk okay. to my accountant in those types of things and not, be yeah. nervous, but I didn't take care of things. There's a lot of areas that you're, that you're helping that. I don't know that the average business owner would think that that would have that effect. This isn't just about your business and your books. This is, no also about your yeah. mental health. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, so, that's the thing. I mean, let's be real. You have your CPA and most CPAs yeah. have a bookkeeping department. As far as getting your taxes done and having those financials, there's already a solution. Yeah. This is different. I love it. I love it. We're going to end this right here. We started out with a little intro. We had a couple testimonials and we've got a little outro that we're excited to yeah. share with you as well. I'm so excited. Jen, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you, my friend. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Hi, I'm Iris with Regal TC LLC, and I just wanted to give a shout out to Wise Wizards Bookkeeping Services. 
I hate accounting, I hate bookkeeping, and I recently hired Wise Wizards to clean up my QuickBooks. They cleaned up nine months worth of QuickBooks and reconciled all my accounts, and they process my monthly bookkeeping so I don't have to. They are extremely efficient, very affordable, and they have taken a huge chore off my plate, which allows me to focus more on my business. I highly recommend them to anyone who's running their own business. Get that bookkeeping off your plate.